This situation is kind of complicated. Let me read you this set of tweets and then I will give you more context. First of all, thank you. Hi, LOL for the tag says here. Hey, people are being transphobic in the quote retweets because this trans woman and even myself who is also trans disagree with them about the whole Bridget trans thing. And we are both uncomfortable and hate the idea about turning a femboy character to a trans character. Ah, oh, well, hold on. I've got to stop you right there because I've been informed by Twitter and Reddit that the only people that watch my content are cis white men. There's no way a trans person watches Hero, hey? That's a joke for anyone that didn't get it. Twitter and Reddit, they do unironically say that. It's just not true, though. We've got an extremely diverse community here. Love you all. Continuing. So hi, LOL tagged me to this tweet from Guster, where she says, This whole situation rubs me the wrong way. As a trans girl myself, there is not a trend I dislike more than erasing a character's previous identity for the sake of making them trans. Guster did post a thread, so we have more to read. However, let's get the context there before we continue. Guster responding to this tweet from Eve that says, uh, well, I'm not going to read all this. Uh, it's just, you know, a bunch of like caps lock mishmash. Essentially, though, they're celebrating that this character, Bridget, is a trans character. So here's where it gets complicated. Apparently, Bridget was originally a femboy. Well, the news now is that Bridget has officially been changed into a trans character. Not like prior situations we've seen where localizers abused IP and altered a character to become trans. No, apparently here the creator slash IP holders wanted this change. Now, as Buster will mention in her thread that we're about to go through, there are apparently issues she has and other trans people have as well with this rep as they would prefer to have their own original trans characters and not altered ones, even if the alteration is from the creator themselves. Furthermore, she makes an argument that this trans rep is actually harmful. More on that coming right up. Before we return to her thread, though, I'll just give my opinion quickly. So the issue I had with localizers changing characters is that it goes against the creation of the creators. Now, this situation, apparently the creator is changing the character themselves. So I don't inherently have an issue with this character now being trans. That said, I've seen trans people making strong arguments that having original trans characters is better rep than altering ones. So I'm just trying to listen to their point of view as well. So basically where I'm at is... I don't have an issue with a change if it's from the creator. However, I also understand changing a character like that isn't always beneficial, and to some trans people, it may even be harmful. So it's rather complicated. I'm keeping my glass half full, so to speak, as I continue trying to hear more points of view on the situation and really understand it. Now, with that all said, let's return to Buster's thread. Buster collecting almost 4,000 likes, by the way, and continuing, she says... I want trans rep to be trans rep, not an unnatural character shift for a pre-existing character. There seems to be this sentiment that anyone who doesn't like this change is just a bigoted nerd. But no, it is okay to be frustrated when a decision is made for a character that completely walks back all their previous lore. When people love something, having something they care about be changed for a reason that honestly makes no sense for the character is okay. I yearn for the day where the trans community appreciates actual trans rep and not just celebrating the characters that are changed to become tra uh, trans, excuse me, just because of their gender non-conforming aesthetic. I don't love how the game seemingly implies they were groomed into this identity since they were forced to dress like a girl most of their life, even though that wasn't the gender identity they were identified with. Okay, if that's the case, that seems uh, very bad. Continuing. As a trans girl, this whole situation is just icky to me. I hate how every trans rep we get has to be the erasure of a pre-established feminine man. I just want a character who genuinely represents the trans experience honestly. I know I'll get called a pick-me, etc., but this is what I believe, and if you can't expect these very valid issues I have with this character being portrayed... Excuse me. If you can't expect... Oh, wait, yeah. I, I think I should say respect. If you can't respect these very valid issues I have with this character being portrayed as trans, then I don't know what to say. First one already. And you can see this person is calling her that term. And if you remember the initial tweet I was tagged to from Hi LOL, there are also apparently people in the quote retweets misgendering her and calling her transphobic slurs simply because she has a different opinion than them. For the record, I would almost guarantee you those people are the same types who call out transphobia but then they'll turn around and use transphobic slurs just because someone they dislike who is trans has a different opinion than them. It is absolute hypocrisy. Perhaps it's not even just hypocrisy. Perhaps they never actually cared about trans people and they only pretended to. I mean, if they're actually calling someone transphobic slurs simply because they have a different opinion, I don't see how they could claim to be against transphobia when they're literally 
the transphobic people themselves. Hey, I just realized, I think uh, in this video I called Guster Buster. I didn't misgender her. I just called her the wrong name. Hey, Guster, uh, please forgive me. Oh, wait, no, it is Guster Buster. Okay, never mind. We're good. Also, remember where Guster Buster mentioned that this whole uh, rep situation feels icky to her as well because of this whole apparent grooming thing? Well, there's a tweet from this person uh, <laughs> that says, what is this name, dude? Uh, <laughs> what is this at? Anyways, says, wait in, wait, in the good ending to the arcade mode where you win, Bridget is still a guy. It's only in the bad ending where you lose that he calls himself a girl? Dude, there's no way. Did they really do that? This comment says, well, good to know that in the good ending, he is still a guy, but it is quite funny how only in, the lo in, in, in a loss, he calls himself a girl. Between that and that he was forced to be one, that's not going to look good for the trans community. Dude, is that really what they did? Another tweet reading... Uh, from Wool Wolf Folk. Apparently, Bridget is still a boy in the good ending, where there's literally dialogue that says, no matter what others think, I will not change. A comment reading, wait, so that means being a girl is the bad ending? Adding, what's even worse is that it's very ambiguous how you can take the good ending, but the good ending implies that the other endings are not canon and isn't what you should be shooting for. This is going to cause so much confusing, confusion, dude, even this person's already getting confused with their typing here. Should say confu- uh, now I'm getting confused. This is going to cause so much confusion, right, within the fandom. Yeah, so this seems like a giant mess. The more you look into the situation, the more confusing it gets. That's why I mentioned even like near the beginning of this segment, I believe that some of this information may not be accurate. Correct me if I'm wrong, because like I said, it's just it's just confusing. Oh, my bad. By the way, Guster Buster had two more tweets after that example of the person calling them that, uh, where she said, this is a nuanced situation, and I also don't want to see people being transphobic in my replies. I'm trans, and I just don't like how this character is being portrayed. That is all. Dang, bro. I'm getting told to detransition and getting misgendered over starting, excuse me, over stating my issues with how a fictional character's identity was handled. Y'all are pathetic. Imagine committing actual transphobia over someone's opinion on a Guilty Gear character's arc. Yeah, so I just feel bad for trans people. It's like almost every time they get a character, it's a, a, as Guster Buster has said, something where like a character's changed or there's some sort of controversy. Like how nice would it be if trans people just got like an awesome trans character and everyone could be like, yo, that's sick, congrats. But nah, instead you got localizers abusing their power to change characters to something that the original creator did not want. All recently, I think I turned my childhood friend into a girl. The situation with Guilty Gear where, again, if this is true, apparently the rep implies that she was groomed into becoming trans. I don't think I need to uh, point out the issues with that. And that, <laughs> furthermore, she's only trans in the bad ending? Dude, are you, like, there's, I, I, I almost can't believe that. It seems like this is, if anything, like, transphobic in of itself, uh, if the whole bad, bad ending thing is true. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. Holy smokes, what a mess. So yeah, that is the uh, the Guilty Gear situation currently unfolding. Hope you enjoyed this segment. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you there and in the next one tomorrow.